When we first get a computer, um, one of the things we check for is to see whether or not it's uh, got any letter writing um, packages within it, or if it's got Microsoft Office on it, um, or something similar. Obviously, if you go out and buy Microsoft Office, you can pay an exorbitant amount, £214 or £341. Um, as we've got here, this is Microsoft Office Professional. Um, that can be quite expensive and, and even if you were to go in and buy um, the student version which uh, if you meet the uh, requirements of a student version um, you're still paying sort of 84, 85 pound for, uh, for that particular product. <coughs> However when you first get a copy of Windows, Windows XP, Windows Vista or Windows 7 um, it comes with the package and it's called WordPad WordPad is just as good as any other um, Microsoft Office product. Obviously, it's made by Microsoft. Let's just take a quick look at it. Um, on opening it up, um, this is the Windows 7 version. Obviously, with Windows XP and Windows Vista, you do get a different headers, but all the titles within those headers are uh, pretty much the same. Um, if we start off by opening up the uh, menu here um, to see what we've got. Um, we can see we've got the standard formats. Um, here's some of the stuff that I did, demo text and what have you. You can click away on any of those and open up the relevant uh, document. But we've got a new document, open a document, save a document or save a document as. Um, obviously context sensitive as well, help menu there if you're not sure what to do. Let's set the page up using page setup. Obviously it comes, uh, I've played with this haven't I, it comes with the default setting of 0.5 um, which looks something similar to that. Um, if you've got an A3 printer it's very simple just to click on A3 and that will enlarge the uh, print area for an A3 page but we'll stick with A4 just for the time being. Um, we want maybe to put a four hole punch um, down one side to store this uh, document that we're creating so we need a slightly wider margin and to do that we just pick the left margin um, type in a new value in there and click OK and straight away you notice that the, uh, the margin has zoomed in a bit um, a lot of people are scared by using tabs and margins if you want to set up say an address um, for uh, your envelope, we'll just say this is the ooh, Bacchus Hotel. Sutton on C. But if we wanted that on the um, the right-hand side rather than the left, it's very simple to uh, set a tab up. Sorry, I'll start again. If we set the tab up, go to the tab and type it in there. <coughs> oh dear, my typing skills getting too rusty. There we go. And this is all because I set this particular tab here at the uh, at the top. Um, very easy to do. It's very easy to manipulate. It will change whatever line you're on. And it is so simple to do. So simple it becomes... Um, you have to be a little bit careful that you don't reset a tab in the wrong place. However, it's um, it is as simple as that. Um, highlight everything, delete everything and we can get rid of the tabs just by literally dragging them to the edge and they disappear. So that's a very quick lesson in tabs. Let's have a look at um, a li putting a little bit of text in here. There's some rapid typing for you. Um, this is part of a novel that I've copied here just for this particular demonstration. If we wanted to say put a um, if we wanted to put a picture in at this location here um, then all we have to do is literally click on the picture we can uh, I don't know we can pick mock the week 
open that and it simply goes in where we've selected to put it um, very simple to do let's get the balance about right so there's our uh, little picture that we've put in um, on the other hand if we want to uh, just maybe put a little painting in there that we've done ourselves um, this is equally simple select what type of ink we want um, maybe select a color we will draw our picture whatever it happens to be we don't have to be an artist there we go beautiful little drawing whatever you want to be um, it can be a landscape you can put any drawing you like spend a couple of hours doing a drawing but when you're finished all you do is close this page and look it's automatically placed within your document already that little facility I don't think is available in Microsoft Word um, I will stand corrected another nice little feature which I use uh, quite often is date and time put the date in today's date 26th of February 2012 or I could have it in a different format if I wish I could have 26 to 12 put a bit of space between them um, that's all the uh, British formats I think and I can't think of any different uh, format that's available so we'll just stay with that <coughs> so there we are very very simple um, nice little feature as well is occasionally if you want to uh, if, you, if you want to highlight maybe something you want to change uh, and in the west we do have two equators and we want that taken out we can put a strike through so we don't actually lose it uh, from the document but we can line it for uh, deletion later on um, very handy if you if you want to talk about um, subscripts and superscripts um, we can type in there um, we'll say x to the value of 2 um, and just highlight the 2 put it as a superscript and that becomes x squared or again x well I'll get it right so we type in x and we want a subscript to there we go and that gives you a, a smaller version of the same thing quite easy to do um, very very versatile package we can do indents um, we can do line there we go we'll change that to single line rather than double which it was set on now I prefer it as double there we are we'll keep it as it is um, so it's very simple to go through and do all the little changes all these are available in Microsoft Word but how many people didn't actually realize you had it for free already in Windows 7 um, changing fonts is a simple just highlight the font that you uh, want to change there we go and we can change an entire document that way or just simple uh, one word or one letter or whatever um, we can center we can left align we can right align uh, we can make it full page text uh, by doing a whole paragraph it uh, makes everything spread out to fit the page exactly so there we are that's um, wordpad if we go in now to save it we can save this document and it comes as a RTF which is rich text format um, it's the only um, one of the many choices we've got you can actually save it as a docx which is a new version of documents in open office or uh, the open office package which is available we can save it as a document if we wish um, or just straightforward text document for uh, MS DOS format um, I find that RTF is probably just as good if we just give it a title plug it demo and save it as RTF right if I uh, open up Microsoft Word which I've only got Office 2003 
Um, we can then open that particular file in Microsoft Word. There we go. And from there we can save it as a document or whatever. I'm not going to save that. One handy little feature which uh, I do like about Microsoft uh, WordPad is down the bottom here we have a little slider and that slider can make as you see we're not limited to just one single page well we are it's just one single page uh, no matter how many pages long it is and we can zoom right in or right out to a reasonable size and that's just by moving the slider at the bottom here so there we are I um, hope you've enjoyed this demonstration um, and we'll move on to do something different next month thank you for listening